Islamic software. Now, brother wants to know about the Islamic software. Now, coming to the Islamic software, again, the purpose is important. The purpose of the Islamic software, suppose a company has created a software of the Quran, of the Hadith, and spent a lot of money. And then, if that software is available in that country, in that city, and for you to save the money, instead of paying 5,000 rupees, you want to buy 200 rupees, then it is haram. If you make a copy and give it free to your friend, it may come in the gray area, no problem. But see to it that unnecessary should not got damage to the main person who has produced that software. So if you're living in a country where software is easily available, and then if you pirate it to save money, it is wrong. But if you're living in one part of the world where the software is not available, and you don't have knowledge of the Quran, want to search the Quran, want to study the Quran or Islam, etc., and then because of lack of availability, if you make a copy, inshallah, inshallah, Allah will forgive you. But if you make it as a business, make copy and sell, then it is wrong. You can directly tell to the company, see so and so, so and so, thing is there. I want to make copies and sell, give me permission. With permission, no problem. Hope that's the question. And brother, have any questions?